Welcome to the Dynamics 365 Universe. In this video, we're diving into an essential starting point for any Dynamics 365 development, creating a new model. Let's get started. Step 1. Open Dynamics 365 then Model Management then Create Model. This is where we begin the model creation process. Step 2. Define the model details. Here, we'll enter some basic but important information. For model name, let's call it D365U. You can choose any unique name that represents your custom solution. In Model Publisher, just enter your organization or your name. This helps identify who owns the model. Leave the version as it is, usually 1.0.0.0. You can update it manually if needed later. Then, choose the appropriate layer. Most of the time, we'll go with USR or CUS for customizations. And optionally, you can add a short description to explain what this model is for. Always a good habit for better clarity. Step 3. Select Package Type. Here, you'll see two options. Choose Create a New Package. This is what we typically want when starting a brand new model, it's clean and independent. Avoid the second option, select an existing package, unless you are customizing something very specific. Also note, overlayering has been restricted from version 8.1 onwards, so creating a new package is the preferred way. Step 4. Define dependencies, optional. Now, if your model relies on functionality from other models, like application suite or application foundation, you can add them here. Don't worry, these dependencies can also be updated later by right-clicking the model and choosing update model parameters. Final step, review and finish. Almost done. Double check all the information on the summary screen. If everything looks good, just hit finish. But wait, before you go, you'll see two additional options on this screen. Create a new project. Selecting this will immediately create a project under your new model. Very handy if you want to start coding right away. Make this my default model for new projects. This saves time later by automatically setting D365U as the default model for all new projects. And that's it. You've successfully created your first model in Dynamics 365 FNO.